The number four bowl game that we are most excited to see is the Cotton Bowl. It's Missouri against Ohio State. Now, the Buckeyes are Missouri's highest-ranked bowl opponent since 1970. Think about that. 53 years since they've had an opponent of this significance. So this is a massive opportunity for Eli Drinkwitz and the Missouri Tigers. And you look at their roster, it'd be hard to envision a scenario where they're not at or near 100%. Now, they are looking for their first top 10 finish in 10 years. So it's really important that Missouri can go out here and play really well. And we saw earlier this season when they played against Georgia, they proved that they can go the distance with some of the most talented teams in the sport. Now, can they do a little bit better job of handling their opportunities? They didn't do a great job with that when they played against Georgia. They had six drives in Georgia territory. They scored just two touchdowns. And their third down conversion rate that day is not what you want. So Missouri, they've been kind of on a quest to get to this point, and they now have the opportunity sitting right in front of them. Now, how will they kind of draw things up for Luther Burden and Cody Schrader? Cody Schrader is their bell cow running back, one of the best backs in the sport, just won the Burlesworth Award, but was a finalist for the Doak Walker as well. Luther Burden was not a finalist for any wide receiver awards, but he should have probably been on the short list when looking at what he could potentially accomplish they're in the bowl game. They're going to get creative, try to find ways for him to create space. They've done it all year. I would imagine they'll probably do so again in the postseason. Now, Ryan Day has got to be a little bit frustrated with the fact that Kyle McCord's in the portal. Uh, Marvin Harrison at the moment, not sure as to whether or not he's going to be playing in the bowl game, but looks like it's going to be Devin Brown at quarterback. That is nice to know that you at least have a guy that went the distance with McCord in the quarterback competition to fill in and likely to be the guy here in this particular spot. But whether it's Brown, who was 12 of 22 for 197 and two touchdowns this year, uh, played in five games, or Lincoln Kineholz, who might get the start as well. He's the true freshman. Either way, they're going to have some weapons. Now, Marvin Harrison, Emeka Buka, Cade Stover, Will they all play? I don't know, but I would anticipate I'm going to operate, at least at the moment, under the assumption that those guys will go. Now, Ohio State's been one of the best as far as attracting wide receiver talent, and Brian Hartline played a huge role in that, him being the OC. It'll be interesting to see how they try to attack this Missouri group that should be at close to full strength, not anticipating a bunch of opt-outs for Missouri. Ohio State, on the other hand, still a few that I think have to make a legitimate decision going into this matchup.